Hello and welcome to Rapid Bytes. Today we're going to create a hosted checkout page with requested currency. Rapid is an API first company, and here in Rapid Bytes, we'll show you how to work with our API to accept, hold, and disperse funds anywhere using local payment methods. Comment below or join our Discord and forum to connect with our developer community. You can ask anything fintech. So thanks for watching. Again, we're going to be uh, creating a hosted checkout page uh, with requested currency. This can also be referred to as presentment currency um, or currency that the customer sees and pays in uh, while you may receive a different currency into your client wallet uh, to be able to then eventually settle into your bank account. And so here I am on the uh, create checkout page uh, in our API reference um, docs. And so here we see that all the different um, parameters and different requests, the body parameters. Um, and these are diff the different uh, kind of uh, body um, parameters here uh, that you could set up. Of course, card with requested currency is here as well. Um, one thing I do want to note is our supported currencies page uh, is now up on our docs. Uh, it basically shows a full list of currencies across Rapid Collect, Disperse, Issuing, and Wallet. Uh, I love it. Um, one thing that I will jump to here is uh, here again is uh, presentment currency. We see the definitions of different types of currencies according to the platform. You know, Collect. Disperse, issuing, and wallet. Um, here is uh, in virtual accounts. You see different currencies. Uh, the wallet, uh, you know, being able to disperse in different currencies and accept different currencies. It's all listed here. Great resource. I recommend checking it out if you're looking for a specific currency. Uh, jumping back to this page, here is again the field requested currency. Uh, in a video uh, called host a checkout page with FX. I do explain a little bit about when fixed side is sell, fixed side is buy. Um, just kind of, uh, we can think of the requested currency as, uh, or presentment currency as kind of what is being shown and paid by, by the customer. Um, and I wanna move on uh, back to this checkout page. Uh, example, you, we can see the country is Singapore, currency is Singapore dollar, requested currency is USD. And so that's something we'll be doing. I do have uh, just a webhook test site set up that I put up from my client portal. Uh, webhooks are, are incredibly important uh, as trigger events, um, especially for third party as they happen. And so... Um, I'm gonna just X out of here and I am in Postman. Uh, working in Postman, I love working in Postman. If you don't have our collection, you can download that in the link below and follow the video on how to get started. Of course, you can kind of build on the starter collection right here with the requests. Uh, but right now, I'm going to look at uh, create checkout page. And so I'm just gonna copy this and go to, oh, actually, let me copy the whole thing because um, that will help. And now it, it, again, requested currency. And so we could do USD, you know, we could do Singapore dollar um, as well. Uh, but right now here is great Britain, um, uh, British pounds. I'm gonna remove this just so um, kind of it shows dynamically different payment methods. And now here we have my customer ID. I'll go ahead and send that. And so now it's gonna open up um, different uh, options to either pay by card uh, or use a different card. And I'm gonna so I'm gonna just Go ahead and pay that, um, and it's gonna go through. And so now we have, of course, our 3DS simulator. I'll just punch in the code, 
and we got a webhook. And so that's payment completed. Um, you know, payment succeeded here. It'll have the customer ID, card ID, um, you know, e-wallet as well as the payment ID. And so if I go and retrieve that. Oh, I gotta spell payment. Let's see, retrieve payment. Um, again, it'll show closed. Um, hey, I'm going to uh, now do uh, Singapore and Singapore dollar. And cool, so we have now again a card. Uh, you, you can enter card details in virtual account bank, bank transfer. I love that. Um, and so we have that here. Uh, you could use that, you know, I'll just send that payment. And then of course, it'll show you details uh, on what to follow to complete that, that order. Um, but here I'm just working in Sandbox. So you'll get the right information to send that to and it'll give you directions. So kind of like the third party um, uh, information on uh, where to wire that to. Um, go ahead and click finish. Uh, there's our, our dynamic website. And then again, we have uh, basically uh, the web hooks for that. Uh, here is actually a Singapore virtual, uh, basically the virtual account um, that was created as well as, uh, you know, payment succeeded here. And so, uh, awesome. Uh, so we basically just did um, presentment uh, currency or also called requested currency uh, where you can generate a checkout page and uh, basically present a different currency in uh, your country or uh, what is being uh, accepted um, compared to what the customer wants to uh, pay and uh, uh, just the amazing um, capabilities of uh, being able to accept um, funds you know, anywhere using a local payment method uh, of your customer. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below, uh, connect with us on Discord uh, or Discourse. Again, we ch take a look at the checkout page uh, and the requests. Um, just chimed in on this new supported currency page. Uh, I recommend checking that out as well. Looked at the requested currency and did a couple uh, different requests in, from British pounds to Singapore dollar. Uh, paying in USD. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.